So I have a 24 foot cargo trailer that I use um, basically as a camper. I use it to haul my samurai and other toys. Um, and then also we camp in it. Um, building a much needed addition to it. Um, it's got some counters and uh, cabinets and stuff in it, but I have, um, I haven't had any water or uh, good place to organize, you know, like the kitchen stuff, your utensils and plates and whatever. So I kicked around different ideas of buying um, like a drawer unit from places that build stuff like that, but they were all so expensive. Um, so here's what I came up with. Um, I bought a, a Husky toolbox. This was a little over 200 bucks. Um, it's got the decent um, soft close. Well, if you push it hard enough, soft close drawers. Um, and they actually return to home pretty well. So I think they're going to work. They're going to work good going down the road. <clears throat> but if I do have issues, you can always just lock it too. And so I got like a, I found this on eBay. I think it's 15 by 13. A little bar sink, um, stainless, and came with this little grate and all that kind of stuff. Um, so then what I did is my trailer's a Vino's. So in the, the front V section, there's a countertop. Um, and so this is going to go up. This will be along the driver's side of the trailer and basically going to butt up to my front countertop. So I wanted these heights to be the same as what's already there. Um, so in this case, it ended up being 37 and three quarters. And so I took off the wheels and built this stand and basically this cabinet because um, I couldn't find anything that would that, you could, that I could just buy that would work. Um, so this is just one inch 065 wall tubing. And so what I'm going to use is these two water jugs. Um, this one will be for clean water. And then this one will be wastewater out of the sink. I don't want to cut any holes in my trailer or add anything permanent. So I'm going to, I'm going to use this for the water source. Um, I've got to put in a 12 volt water pump still, um, somewhere in this framework. I'll, I'll build a bracket for it. Um, I'm going to use some three quarter inch, um, HDPE plastic in white. It's basically the, what most cutting boards are made out of. So I'll have a piece that fits on here, you know, obviously with the hole cut for the sink to drop into. And then this has already got this ledge all the way around. So I'll, I'll get a piece cut to fit right in. And so that way, you know, this'll be, you know, basically my kitchen counter. Um, my camp stove may sit here or on the, like I said, the, the front of the trailer has a big V shaped countertop. That'll be in this spot if you're standing in the trailer. And so there'll be plenty of plenty of options, but I just thought, you know, if anybody's got any race car type trailers or cargo trailers, this has been a pretty cheap um, and easy setup to do. Like I said, the box was about two, actually this one may have been two ninety nine. There was, I went in for a cheaper one, um, but this was the one they had in stock. I think it was two ninety nine, dollars um, but I don't believe the cheaper one had the nice slides. And then the sink, I think I, I found that on eBay for like 50 bucks. And then I've got a, I've got a kitchen faucet still. I got to build a bracket in here because I want it uh, mounted to the steel. So all told, I don't know, I think maybe have less than $500 in this. I don't know. I haven't done the math yet, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, I just got done building this door. Um, I have, this for the latch. I like these a lot. This is the release button. And then when you lock it, this, this piece comes around the back. It's, it swings totally out of the way. And then this will grip the back side of the, of the frame. And it's, uh, it's adjustable for tension. And these things, you can make them clamp down pretty tight. And they're just cool. They're easy to work with. It just takes 
it just takes a, a rectangular hole. This has got a uh, kind of a U-shaped piece that bolts to the back that holds it in there. Um, Southco is a company that makes these. Um, you can find them online. I think this was about 25 bucks. Kind of expensive, but super clean. And uh, the other cabinets and stuff in my trailer use basically the same style latch. So I wanted, I wanted this sorted match. Um, I'm not 100% about aesthetics on this. Um, but anyway, so I got three hinges. I gotta go, I, I gotta start working on getting those mounted in here. And then on the back side, you know, it's, this has a, a three quarter inch lip bent all the way around the edges. See if I can. But still the door has a little, you see the bottom sitting still and this is a little warpy. So to fight that, um, I built this channel and it's gonna pop rivet to the face and then it's it's got cutouts to hold um, you know, like uh, bottles of cleaner or aerosol cans or whatever. So this one is gonna sit all the way at the bottom and rivet in place. And then I have a uh, another one with just two slots that'll sit in this space. And having a channel like that on the back of this will really stiffen up the door. Uh, and so it serves a couple purposes. I mean, I get some, some additional storage for, you know, bottles of soap and countertop cleaner and things like that that are uh, kind of hard to store. They want to tip over. Um, they kind of close up this gap so these can't move around as much. Um, and they stiffen the door. Um, I'm not going to do any more paneling on this because my uh, I have like a little cheap bar style refrigerator that's going to butt up to this. You know, and it comes out it's about 20 inches wide or something and it's actually about a foot taller than this so that'll close that all off and then you know the wall the interior will close off the back because i'm trying to keep it as light as possible um like i said this is all 065 tubing so it's super light this was a piece of 20 gauge um i just something i had um if i were to start it you know buy the material from from the get-go, I would have got some a little thinner because that panel is actually semi-heavy, but at least it's a nice strong door. Um, this is probably going to stay on um, because I, can, I can't I can get this all the way up against my front countertop because the, the Vino starts, will start basically where this is. Um, but that gives me a place to hang towels and whatever. So that's it, that's a project I got going on right now. Got a couple camp trips planned soon. And uh, the first, the first one's actually out of sight with power and water and everything. But again, my I don't have any water. So um, typically we stay in places with, that have nice bathrooms and everything. So it's never been that big of a deal. But some of the times we camp in, uh, you know, dry camp type areas and uh, having to brush your teeth with jugs of water and stuff like that, washing your hands, it's kind of a pain. And this is gonna be a nice addition to the trailer. Um, something I like too is I have E-Track down the walls, two rows. And so I'm gonna build um, attachments to, to click this into the E-Track. So this isn't permanently mounted. It's not gonna bolt to the floor or anything. Um, so that way, if I need to haul a, a larger vehicle or use the trailer for anything else and I need the space, this can come out. But one, I chose this box, it's 18 inches deep. And when, with this tight against the wall, I can still get my, uh, my Samurai in the trailer. Um, I've got about a, with the sand tires on it, it's got about an inch and a half of clearance on either side to the other wall and to here. So it's snug, but everything will still fit. Um, the next project I'm going to do for the trailer is, uh, I'm going to attempt to build my own fold down bunk beds. Um, cause right now my two littlest kids typically will sleep on cots 
um, on the floor, which works out okay, but they, they just take up a bunch of space. Um, I just want something a little, a little more user friendly. And then if I have extra people with me, uh, it just gives me more options for how many people can sleep in there. So anyway, that's it. Hopefully this, uh, will inspire other people to build their own stuff or give them, give you ideas. I will, uh, I'll post another video about this when I've got it all done, show it in action. Thanks for watching.